Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some destiny. Tis Arms Day, so we're going to go through last week's packages, next week's packages, and all the weapon tests. If you're new to Destiny, you do weapon tests uh, through Banshee, and you can get packages up to 390 light. But looking at my Destiny item manager, I think I might have Mesa failed because I only see five packages on me, and one of them is a DIS 43, which I usually hold on every character every week. But anyway, let's check out what he's got. The Irene RR4. I know a a lot of you folks out there for PvP are pretty big fans of this thing, so I personally don't like any of the arms day snipers, I'm sorry. So uh, we got the Corvo SS2, the SS1, Luck in the Chamber, Snapshot, a Rifle Barrel, a Battle Runner, or Eye of the Storm. I like Snapshot, and Luck in the Chamber could be interesting uh, for PvE. I don't think it works in PvP, if I'm not mistaken, you snipers out there correct me. Uh, the SS2, we got the SS4. Firefly, I like you. A snapshot, Injection Mold, Replenish, and Mulligan. I'm kind of digging this one here a little bit. I like Mulligan, because I do miss. I like Snapshot, and I do like Firefly. Alright, I'm kind of leaning towards the middle one right there. We got Battle Runner again, and Firefly. Alright, we got the SS2, the SS1, Firefly, Quick Draw, Henlaid Stock, Battle Runner, or Eye of the Storm. Well, I'm not really feeling any of these, but I'm going to grab the middle one. Just in terms of I like Firefly and I do like Mulligan. Yeah, Snapshot. Yeah, I'm going to go with the middle one. Let me know if you would differ or wait on something else. All right, the DIS 43. What do we got? Anything good here? We got Range Finder on both of those. Should I show you my usual? Sorry, guys. Max Stability, Full Auto. That's my DIS 43. Got a long time ago. Hopefully, he brings it again. What do we got here? We got Range Finder. Range Finder in the middle. We got the Hammer Forged, Feather Mag, Range Finder, Snapshot. Reinforce. So this one's all about range. It's 12, 26. I like the 28 or the 57. Not really a big fan of that one. Next one here we have. Is that take a knee? Yeah, take a knee. High caliber rounds. Appended magazine. A snapshot. A rifle barrel. 12, 26, 41. No, these are all bad right now. And the last one. What do we got? Perfect balance. Okay, I like you. Feather mag. Range finder. Speed reload. And rifle barrel. Nah, none of these are good, guys. I would hold on to your DIS 43s for another week. All right, let's jump on my other character and check out the other packages. Keep that thing oiled, Guardian. Actually, I did buy all the packages. I know what I was saying in the beginning. I, for some reason, thought I was holding on to the DIS. Well, I do hold on to the DIS 43 every week for you guys. All right, we are just looking for proximity. Eh, oh, we got tracking on this one here. Um, and I'm saying proximity if you're looking for a PvP rocket launcher. So let's look at this one here. Aggressive launch. And got Linear Compensator, Hard Launch, that's kind of the, uh, Hard Launch, in my opinion, is very similar to Warhead Veneers. Heavy Payload, I like that, Flared Magwell, Tracking, we got Javelin, this is pretty good right here for PvE, I would say. Yeah, look at that blast rate, it fires a little bit slow, it's Void, and this week the Nightfall is Void, so I'm, I'm kind of liking that middle one right there. What do we got here? We got Cluster Bombs, Cluster Bombs, Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, Javelin, Lightweight, Cluster Bomb. Aggressive launch, soft launch, hard launch, and what about the last one here? Is that, uh, who's next? Okay. Warhead Veneers, we got Smart Drift Control, Countermass, Heavy Payload, Flared Magwell, who's next? Perfect Balance, Lightweight. Okay, I would go with the middle one. All right, in fact, I'm going to grab that one myself. The middle one's pretty good. All right, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. You guys pronounce it in the comment section. I never liked this thing. All right, what do we got here? We got the uh, Long Range. We got the Raptor. We got Rodeo. Partial Refund. Chance to refund. Partial Refund. Chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist. Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing Rounds, and Injection Mold. All right, not really feeling that one. This is really just for you guys here. I have my longbow and thousand yard. That's all I use for everything PVE and PVP. ATB long range. The Raptor again. We got take a knee. Crouching grants improved accuracy and stability, as well as reduced aim time and uh, and flinch under fire. You know, I, I never knew that last part. Performance bonus kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. Perfect balance, armor piercing rounds, and braced frame. All right, that's interesting. Uh, what we got here? Is that, again, take a name? No. Private Eye. Optical zoom length is increased while crouched. We got Spray and Play. I like Spray and Play, actually, on Snipers, because I hate the reload. ATA Scout. Raptor. We got Eye Caliber Round. Snapshot. And Appended Magazine. I don't like any of these, so let me know in the comment section which one you guys like. For me, Legendary Marks. Alright, the Tunella SR4. Do I have a Scout Rifle on me I can compare this to? 
Mm -hmm. Let's compare it to my uh, Harrow Doom. I always love that thing. Let's see what we got. Okay, so same red of fire, same impact. What do we got here? We got Grenadier, I see. We got the Candle IS-2, the HS-4, Impulse MS-2. I got Replenish, Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Grenadier, and Danger Close. All right, not really feeling that one right there. Let's look at the middle one here. Is that Army 1? Yeah, Army 1. We got the IS-6, uh, HS-2, uh, MS-2. We got Life Support, Snapshot, Feather Mag, Army of One, Danger Close. Yeah, you know, I, I've never gotten a good roll on this thing. Ooh, we got Triple Tap. I do like you. We got the IS-2, HS-2. We got a little bit more aim assist. Impulse MS-2. All right, Triple Tap. Can we get some good middle? Extended Mag, Small Bore, Army of One, and Underdog. I think I'm going to go with this one here and just give it a whirl. I've never actually got one that I actually liked. I do like Triple Tap. Uh, extended mag, so extended mag, so it can give me some more rounds. Reload's probably a bit slow on this thing, so it might help out. I wonder how many rounds you actually get when you bump it up from uh, 13, maybe what, 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 like 15 or something? Yeah, we're going to grab that one there with uh, Triple Tap. All right, let's look at next week's DS43 again he's selling. All right, buy it again, <laughs> or buy it if you don't have it. Uh, Kakaitis SR4, that's a good scout rifle. Buy that one. Uh, the Kuma Katak HC4, one of my favorite hand cannons. I got mine with Rifle Barrel, Luck in the Chamber, and Outlaw, so I'd buy that one. It's a really fun to use. Strongbow, eh, that's kind of a lame shotgun. I've never had a good roll on that thing. And that same sniper rifle, which I'm not going to try to pronounce. <laughs> All right, if you want to do some weapon tests, we got to go to the Crucible or Private Matches for that auto rifle. Same thing with this hand cannon. Uh, double kills with this. You can do that anywhere. I like to go to uh, the Dark Beyond where we've woken the hive. I know I say that every single arms day when you have double kills or mostly, yeah, actually for this one and, and this one, yeah, all of these I would go to the Dark Beyond where we've woken the hive. I know people, some say, uh, I think it's Siege of the Warmine or whatever that story mission is with Omnigo when we first meet her. Uh, I like to go to the Dark Beyond, fire up uh, where you're at the Temple of Crota, get your double kills here, double kills here, and precision kills there. So that's pretty much it, guys. So hey, do me a favor, drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason. Check my stream. Links in the description. And that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir. And look at how cool my Huntress looks with those ornaments. What I need, you know, it's so stupid. Everything else takes one ornament. You need two for the chest piece? I don't know. I have two more kills on Vosik. Uh, I don't really care about the class item. I just I, I want the chest piece. Yeah, because that's got ornaments. The helmet, you barely can see the ornaments on, right? No, that doesn't look very cool. But the arms, that looks cool. The boots, that looks cool. But even though I, I don't use them, I'm a Bones AO dude. Yeah, can't live without my bones. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Do hashtag made it to the end.